So hello everyone, I am Akash and I welcome you to this new video on the channel. So in this video, I'm going to start with building this website. So in the last video, I showed you this uh, website and this is the website that we are going to build throughout this series. So I'll show you all the different things that you can create, how you can uh, create this uh, dark mode button as well and we are going to do all of this by just using the half moon CSS framework so without any further ado let's get started so here last time we just saw this uh, simple starter template dot HTML so this is what we get after we download half moon so this was the template so now the website that i showed you contains three different html pages so the first one is index.html the second one is login.html and the third one is signup.html okay so first of all let's create the first file that is index.html So this is going to be our main page. Now here I'm going to generate a basic template and paste the code for that here. So to generate that basic template, I'm going to go on to this half moon website. And here in the sidebar, we have to just navigate to the page builder. Now in this page builder, we have to scroll down to this starter template generator and here this is uh, the basic template generator that half moon provides and here i'm going to just check this box and i'm just going to keep everything as it is so you can go through all these options and whatever you want to uncheck or check you can do that and then just click on generate and it is going to generate a basic template for uh, us to work on so let's copy this and let's paste it here so this is our basic template now we are going to work on this template so first of all i'm just going to remove this and i'm going to write here square and that's it so we have already this CSS file linked here. Now let's run this. So I'm going to start the live server. And this is the basic view that we get here. So we already have this uh, sidebar section. We have a nav bar and we have a footer. So now first let's start with the nav bar okay so this is the navbar section so here they have given the reference as well so you can go directly onto this link or i already have this website open so i'm just going to scroll down to navbar okay so in this navbar as you can see there are different types of navbar here if you scroll down then you'll find these different navbar layouts so what i want is i want this first one so i'm just going to copy the content that is there between this nav tags so this is the end of that nav tag so i'm going to just copy this all the way through the start of this nav tag so I've copied this and now I'm just going to paste this instead of this reference link here. Okay, so that is done. So let's check this out. So as you can see here, we have this navbar. So now we have to change some things here. So I'll be removing these three things and I'll be uh, having my own different brand here that is the square so square is not a real thing it is just uh, for the demo purpose 
so i'm going to write that here and i'm going to have a logo here as well okay so first of all let's just uh, get our logo and one more image that i'm going to use in the index page as well so i'm going to create a new folder named img and in this folder i'm going to have images so i'm going to bring those images here so these are the two images that i'm going to use now the next thing that i have to do is i have to rename this to square and here i'm going to give the source for my logo so that is in the img folder and this is the logo and here i'm going to write square okay so now that is done now i'll be removing these three things and here i'm going to keep this form as it is and here we also have this another menu but if you go here then you won't find this menu so that menu will appear when you decrease the screen size so as you can see now we have this menu and we have these two different links here as well so i'm going to remove these two links from here so to do that we just have to remove these two anchor links and i'll be keeping everything as it is so now let's see so as you can see we don't have those links anymore now what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a symbol here for this uh, side nav button so to get this we have to get the css links for font awesome here i'm going to be pasting the links for font awesome so these are the links for font awesome this one is uh, the css file and this one is the javascript file so these are the cdn links for font awesome so to get these links you just have to go and search font awesome cdn and go into this first link so this is cdnjs.com and grab the all.min.css and the javascript file that is all.min.js so grab these two things uh, you just have to click on this button so that uh, you can copy the whole link with tag and you just have to paste it here in the head section so now if we go here so now as you can see we have this uh, three line symbol for our sidebar